As mobile apps take a front and center role in daily business operations, the scope of IT responsibilities that modern companies face is quickly expanding beyond the firewall. As opposed to traditional web-based services that are hosted on a central server and accessed over the air, the mobile app is commonly downloaded and stored on personal end-user devices, turning version control and content management into an arduous and time-consuming process. In order to update the content of applications that have already been deployed in the wild, companies must resubmit the new code to the different application stores, subjecting it each time to the process of evaluation and approval. In the rapidly evolving mobile landscape, such delays are directly translated into high costs, diminishing user experience, and can sometimes entail critical security pitfalls. To address this issue, Worklight has introduced the Direct Update feature, allowing developers to update the web content of their hybrid and web apps directly from server to client, completely circumventing the application stores and the recurring process of submission and approval. Let's take a look at how this is done. On the left, the Worklight Studio, showing the HTML body of a demo application we created for this feature demo and on the right, an Android emulator. Within the HTML code, you can notice the app's header, a wrapper containing text about the app version, and a clickable button. Clicking the button will launch a customizable alert box, which, for the purpose of this demonstration, states that this app has not been updated yet. Switching to the JavaScript tab, we can see the code associated with this button. To symbolize the changes that developers introduce from one version to the next, I'm going to make a few changes to the application code, starting with the text of the alert box on the JavaScript tab, and followed by changing the HTML code from version 1 to version 2.0. To keep things interesting, I will also change the color of my text to red. This, of course, can be done within the CSS code. Now that I've finished introducing all the changes to the new application version, I can build and deploy the app to the server. Once the updated version has been deployed, it is live and ready for the mass consumption of end users. Switching to the emulator, let's take a look at the end user's experience. As the end user, I will exit and relaunch my Worklight application. As soon as the app launches, an automatic alert box appears, announcing the availability of an updated version for my app. If I choose not to update my app, the policies set in place by the administrators will determine whether I can continue using my app or not. But this involves a different worklight feature called Remote Disable, which will be discussed in a later video. As I click Update, the app will automatically retrieve the version of the code from the server and restart itself. As you can see by the red text, I'm now running version 2.0 of the Worklight application. And if I click the button, the alert box will notify me that this application has been updated. Using this feature, companies are able to quickly introduce new versions of their applications to the market and proactively force their update on the end user device. These updates can be as simple as content and color changes or as critical as security patches and revisions of the organization's authentication policies.